Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited because we are introducing a brand new stamp set, Happy Holidays, that is exclusive for Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber event this month. It's so cute and sweet, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a bunch of these images out. I like doing this when I first get a stamp set, just stamping everything out, checking out all the images. And here you can see we have three adorable dogs, this cute little present where you can put the dog in it, a Santa hat, a beanie, and then this cute little reindeer hat that they can put on. We also have a scarf, lights that you can put on their body so they're wrapped up in lights, a little ball here, and this is actually to create a Rudolph nose for the dogs, and then that nice little shine thing that can come off of their Rudolph nose, and then some cute little gifts for them to give their friends. So we've got the bone and the little bowl with the gingerbread tree, a candy cane, a present, a little bone that's just kind of a small one, a paw print, this wolf sign, which is just so sweet. And then this is little walking footprint. So you can put it behind the dog so it looks like they've been walking through the snow. And then here we have these little wag lines. So what you can do is stamp the dog and put the wag lines around the tail so it looks like he's wagging his tail. I just love that. And then we have a ton of snowflakes too. These are perfect for creating backgrounds. Then we have happy holidays dash hunt and then a separate stamp that you can put through the snow which is so cute then here comes santa paws and then you can stamp out santa paws is coming to town then you can stamp out happy holidays again and put from the dog which i think is so cute be so cute with a picture of your dog for a christmas card and then we have two little hearts and of course an exclamation point to add to the end of these phrases now I'm gonna be making three different cards with this stamp and die set. So I thought I would start to color these images and I'm gonna be using my Copic markers and coloring all the dogs in different shades just to kind of have fun playing with them. And I'm making sure to add all my shading where there's curves. So for example, the curve of his snout under there, I wanna add some shading or the curve of his leg, add a little shading around the ears, etc. And that really gives him a nice three dimensional look. I decided to color this guy a little bit lighter, so I'm using these E31, 34, and 35, and once again, blending out those medium colors with my light marker, and then using that darkest marker just to add the shading once again around those curved edges like the ears and his neck and his leg. So you can see here that I'm gonna lay down my light marker first, and that's to make sure that the paper's nice and wet so the markers will blend together. Then I'll add my medium marker, then my dark marker to all of those areas that I want there to be shading. I'll blend that out with my medium marker and then go into my light from there. So I'm able to blend those out, really create some cool shading, and by kind of having light and dark spots, it really makes it look like fur. So next up, I'm going to color this present, and I'm going to be using R24, R29, and R39, and I really like R39 for shadow, and I just do it a little bit, just a teeny bit around that ribbon, just to make it look like that ribbon's leaving just a little bit of shadow on there. And these are my favorite reds for Christmas. And then I'm gonna do the same idea with the green. So I'm gonna put my light down, then my dark, and then blend that light out right into those edges. So it looks like that present is really just all the way connected, that ribbon on there. Next up, I'm gonna take my coordinating dies, bend them apart at the tabs, or use my wire snips to separate them, and then I'm gonna line up all of these dies on my images. And I love doing this because it makes it so that I can create a lot of cards at once. So I color all the images from the set, or even multiple of each, and then I die cut them all at once, and I have a ton of stuff to play with. Here you can see all of the images from the set. I love that there are so many individual images in this. There's just so much to play around with. And so here you can see how you could put the lights on the dog or the little reindeer hat and the dog in the present is just the cutest thing. I love the beanie with the scarf. Oh my goodness. And I love how you can have the dog hold the present there. And here's a look at how cute that Rudolph nose looks on the dog. Just so, so sweet. Now it's time to make a card, and I'm gonna be using the new Stitched Hillside Pop-Up Die. I love this die so much. So I've gone ahead and cut it out of some white cardstock, and I wanna stamp those little footprints in the snow. So I'm using some Hippo ink, some gray ink, to stamp that, and that's gonna be a nice little added touch to my hill. Here I'm using Stitch Mountain Borders from Lawn Fawn also, and I'm going to decorate all of these mountain borders with snow caps. I'm also gonna cut one more Stitch Mountain border, the other design that comes in the set, and layer those two together to really get this awesome mountain scene. 
Here I have some peacock cardstock that I'm cutting into a standard size card, five and a half by four and a quarter, and I'm going to use a stamp that comes from the Snow Cool stamp set to create a really awesome snow background for this scene. So I'm using some Yeti ink, some white ink, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that snow background, and I think it's just so pretty. Now I can layer my mountains right on top of that, and it looks like the snow is falling on the mountains. Here I've cut from some leafy tree backdrop dye a white tree to really make this snow covered scene look awesome. And I love that tree on top of the mountains. I think it's a really cool look. I'm going to layer another piece of white cardstock on the inside part of this card. And now it's ready to add the pop up. So I'm going to fold it right along that bottom there and just score that really well with my bone folder. I'm going to push down that right piece there to bend those tabs. And then I'm going to bend the tabs on the top. So I'm just going to push that one down there and then the other one and then I can bend the extra tabs right at the end of those. So there's a little score line there that the die creates and I'm just going to bend right along that line. The next step is to add some tape to that bottom tab piece. So I'm going to add a ton of tape there and then I'm going to add tape to those tiny little tabs at the top that we just folded. So just some tape right there and on the other tab. Then I'm going to take the die and kind of butt it right into the fold line of the card and press that down really well. Then I'm going to push the entire rest of the piece flat and then push that piece down forward and then push those forward. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to push down the whole piece flat, push that part in, and then push those down, fold my card, press really well, and when you open it, it's going to have formed the pop-up and those hills look so cool. Now it's time to decorate my dogs, get them ready for the holiday season. So I'm adding a little scarf and the reindeer hat and the little beanie and of course the lights because that's one of my favorite stamps from this scene. And now that these dogs are decorated, I can add them to these pop-up hills. And I love how quickly these scenes get together because those pop-up hills just make it so fun. And I thought it'd be cute to have the dog running towards a pile of presents. So I took all of those cute little present stamps from the set and kind of piled them all together and put them at the end of the hill. Here I'm stamping the Santa Paws is coming to town and the little paw print. Now I'm going to create a little band for my pop-up card. So I've cut a piece one and three quarters by 12. It's some nice pattern paper from the Lawn Fawn Perfectly Plaid Christmas. And I've folded it around the card. I'm letting the card help me decide where to fold it. That way I don't even have to measure anything. So I'll just wrap it right around the card, add some tape, and close that shut. I'm going to die cut a circle with the new dotted circle stackables and line a little scallop circle behind it and add a cute little puppy there on the little circle there and I can add it to this belly band here that we've created. It helps keep the card closed. It decorates the front of the card in a nice and simple way so that when someone opens it, they are wowed by what's inside. So I'm going to open it and you'll see how cute these scene is. The dogs are so cute and I love the hills and the mountains and everything behind it. It just creates such a fun scene for the holidays. And now that I've looked at my card, I can once again just close it with the band and send it off in the mail really easily. Now I was in the interactive card mood and I wanted to make a card where the dog pops out of the present. So I'm die cutting a stitch rectangle here with some perfectly plaid Christmas paper and I'm going to position the dog as to what it would look like when he's completely out of the box, just like that. Once I have that position, it's going to tell me where to put my slider track. So I'm using the smallest slide on over die. I'm going to line that right up with my stamped image, move the stamped image out of the way, and hold that in place with some low top tape and run it through my die cut machine. And now I'm going to have a track for this dog to move along in. I'm using a little banner die here to cut another piece of that same paper. And I'm going to take my dog here and put some doubled up foam right in the back there into that track. And then once I have that, you'll see it's going to be able to move in the track. I can take off that liner paper there and now line it up with this little tab piece here. And this is what's going to make it move because it's going to be a pull tab card. So you'll see there now that we've put that foam in between the tab and the dog, it's going to move up and down in that track. Now for the dog to be able to move in and out of the present, I need some super thin foam. So I'm take, taking some doubled up foam there again, cut some really thin pieces, and I put that on either side of the present. Now I'm going to line up the present with my dog. Once my dog is at the top of the slider track, so he's going to be popping right out of that present, hold that in place, and now as you push the dog down, you'll see that he hides behind the present. 
Next, I'm using a stitch rectangle die to cut some perfectly plaid fall paper here. I'm gonna make some little tick marks around the present and cut a little notch there so that I can fit that piece right below so that it looks like a floor for the present to sit on. So I'm just eyeballing it because you'll never see it. It's gonna be covered up by the present. And I'm just gonna layer that right in there. And you'll see now that it really gives a nice grounding area for the present and kind of makes this little panel a little more finished. Next up, I'll be creating a card base, a cute little mini red card base for this card so that I can glue this piece on there. Now, when I glue this piece on there, I need to make sure I put doubled up foam so that that little pull tab can move really well. And I'm gonna put foam on either side of that pull tab to keep it moving in a nice straight manner so that it doesn't wiggle. So you'll see that foam tape there is gonna keep that little tab from wiggling around. Now I can lay that on top of my card base and you're gonna see how well that pull tab moves because once again, it can't wiggle because there's foam on either side of it. Now I thought it would be cute to have a little bone there. This was actually my husband's Mike's idea. I thought it was so cute to make the bone the pull tab. So I'm just gonna layer that right on top of the tab and all you do is pull the little bone present up and he pops out. I think it's so cute. Next, I've stamped my Happy Holiday sentiment and I'm just trimming around it to create a little banner. I'm gonna cut down the middle and then cut from the end to the top of that middle cut and that's gonna create a flagged end. So right there from that banner there to the top and create flagged ends on either side just for a little decorative look. And I can layer that there onto that floor to give it a nice cute sentiment and I love how it pops out from the sides. And then all you have to do is pull that tab piece and the dog pops in and out of the present. This is so easy to do and it is so super cute. Now next up, I'm going to be recreating a card by my friend Audrey. I saw it and I was like, I have to make this card, it's so cute. So I asked her if I could make it for this video. And I'm doing some of the fun little things that she did here. She added little dots to the little dogs there and white gel pen details on all of her colored images. And I just thought it was such a cute touch and I had so much fun playing around with my white gel pen this way. One thing I loved is that she brought in an older stamp set. So this is Making Frosty Friends, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna stamp his little scarf on some pattern paper and stamp him out and use a BG10, a really light turquoise marker all the way around him and some nice little R20 pink cheeks just to give him a little detail but not too much going on. Then I can layer his little paper piece scarf there that was using some perfectly plaid Christmas paper. And then I can decorate all of my dogs too. Now I'm going to cut a standard size piece here, five and a half by four and a quarter, and I'm going to stamp using some Hippo ink that same snow cool background. I already had it out, so I thought it would be fun to use it again, and I'm layering the whole card with it. Now here I have a stitch till side border I'm going to layer on top, and then I'm going to stamp my Happy Holidays and die cut that with a little banner die here. Next, I'm going to use that same leafy tree backdrop die that I used before, cut from some white cardstock, and I'm going to double up foam and then just trim it down really thin and line the whole thing so that it looks like this really cool three-dimensional frame. Here I'm lining up my little banner there. I made a pencil line and I'm just going to trim off that end that I don't need, and then I can layer that on with some foam tape also. So right now we're creating this really cool kind of frame shadow box look. Now it's time to actually decorate the scene. So I'm putting on my little dog there with some foam tape. Then I'm gonna layer my snowman there just with some tape runner and then more foam tape on my dogs. And I love this little dog jumping onto the snowman. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It just, I can't even take it, it's adorable. And then I'm gonna add those little woof signs there at the end just for a little extra added detail. Now here I'm just gonna take a standard size card base, five and a half, four and a quarter and layer that right on top. And this scene was so much fun to create and it actually went by really quickly too. Now here is a look at all three of the cards. I love that there is so much you can do with these. You can do pop-ups, you can do a slider card with the dog running through the snow, you can do cute little pull tab cards like this, or just fun scenes on your cards too, or nice simple little gifts also. I cannot wait to see what kind of cool things that you guys come up with for this stamp set. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.